Hello, Bees Bladers. Welcome back and welcome newcomers to the channel. Trevisa has updated their Lynx series of knives and now they're 2.0. This is the Lynx 01 2.0 and all of its iron woodness. Would you look at it? Just look at it and check it out. Right off the bat, I can tell what they did as an update. They updated the pocket clip on the series one or the, the this is the Trevisa 04 version one. <laughs> <laughs> Can I keep it straight? This is 1.0. Now it does not have a reversible pocket clip. So with the 2.0s, they listen to the knife community and they're like, you know what? We're going to go ahead and put a spot on the other side and we're going to make it fancy and put in a little, uh, little filler plate. How about that? How about them apples? So this one right here is the 04. There's three or four different versions. I'll have them linked in the description, depending on what you prefer. This is the one that has the micarta and you could get the new version in micarta with the updated pocket clip. But this is the one we're here to see, and you ready? Pow, right in the kisser. Oh, oh, oh yeah, look at that. It's Damascus, 110 layers of Damascus steel. And you know what I did? I got my little microscope thingy, and I checked, and I looked right along the spine, because with my naked eye, as blind as I am, I couldn't tell if it was really layered or not. And I'll put a picture right up there on the screen so you can see all of the layers for yourself. But this is a nice looking Damascus steel. I know all you Damascus fans are probably drooling right now. You can see how it comes up here along the edge of the spine. This is such an attractive knife. It works well. I already know I like the knife. You have plenty of room for sharpening, kind of like a small choil up front. If you want to do a little piercing, open up a little bag of something, you know, Cheeto opener or a little bit of Twinkie opener. These, I love blade shapes like this. Trevisa has a lot of sharp, pointy blades like this. I'm a big fan of utility style cutters because, you know, as an EDC everyday carry knife, that's a lot of what we do is getting into packages, opening up things, and oh, I love doing that. And I'm gonna tell you right now, my hand's four inches from here to here, three and a half from here to here, and from the bottom of my palm to the tip of my middle finger is seven and a quarter. The ergos are very nice. It is super comfortable in the hand, and if you have extra large hands, you have plenty of room. And look at this, the pocket clip, because it comes all the way out to the edge, it doesn't bite your hand. It doesn't bite you at all. So there are no hot spots. And in the classic grip, it is very comfortable. The jipping isn't very aggressive. Maybe if you held the knife like this, it might help. I don't, I hold it like this, so it doesn't really stop my thumb. But it's not stopping my grip either. The grip is very nice. And in the reverse grip, if you're gonna open up some bags of mulch or giant bags of cookies. That's what I have pictured in my mind right now. I think I'm hungry, but it, it's excellent. This is going to be a piercer and a slicer. It has a tall, flat grind, good blade geometry. Feels very, very, very nice. And ooh, yeah, feels very nice too on the edge. Now you, are, you can already tell that the finish is just spectacular. That ironwood looks so good. I'll never forget the first time I got some ironwood and I was like, you know what? These scales are the bee's knees. And left and right, it's solid. Up and down, it's solid. And the lockup I'd say is around 30%. And are we centered? Yes, it is right in the center where you want it. The action is very nice. Doing the push button, it comes snapping out. And you saw that, it is very droppy shutty. When you go like this, you can let it stop and hit your thumb instead of instead of poking you in the thumb. So you can do like that if you want, but that gives you an idea. I haven't done anything to the knife. I just opened it and it is very nice with the action. Now, the jimping does grab when you do it like a light switch. It's very grabby. There is no question it's gonna come flying out. The detent on this, super nice. They, 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 did, not, <laughs> they did not mess around with the detent. It's a stronger detent. Definitely, you're not gonna have any problems with failing. Once it lets go, it comes out with a Thor tie. Now here's what it looks like next to the other version. This is the Lynx 04. This is the Lynx 01 2.0. So you can see there's not a whole lot of changes. The big change being the pocket clip is now reversible. And so if you want this one, and there's another version too, I believe it's carbon fiber, you can get it with the reversible pocket clip. Now, I have a couple really cool ideas. Let's do this. It's the QSP Penguin. Everyone should have a penguin, right? So if you have a penguin, now you know the size of this. Now, there's here's a knife that a lot of folks may have or may want. This gives you an idea 
This is the Spyderco Yojimbo. So it's a little, it's a little chunkier height-wise in the blade and the handle. This is a more slender, more kind of gentlemanly carry knife. And it's a, well, this one looks a little scarier. You pull this one out, you know, you cut your steak or something like that. People are going to say, ooh, ooh, it's so fancy. Mr. Fancy Pants. So I have to say that Trevisa, whenever I do a video, when somebody makes comments or says something, or I make a comment, they ask about it, they want to change, they want to make changes with your suggestions. So this is your chance if you have suggestions for any of their knives. They they always watch the comments. Now this bad boy is 8.44 inches overall. It has a 3.6 inch blade and it only weighs 3.7 ounces. So it is a light weight, kind of gents, kind of not carry. I like it. I have no qualms, no complaints about it. The ergos are good. Now I can feel the pocket clip because it's sticking out. It doesn't have any mushrooms growing in the shade. It's inset into the liners and it has flat screws. That's what I'm talking about. So I don't have any issues. If I had a rather, I would rather it have a little aggressive jimping or none at all. But besides that, this is a beautiful knife. I hope you enjoyed checking this out. Go watch this video. I hope you really like that one. And until I see you again, make sure you comment and tell me what you think. And remember, live life in the present. Keep a band-aid handy. And don't cut yourself.